welcome back to my biology class i am arijit sir and today we will talk about a really important topic the male reproductive system the human reproductive system plays a key role in creating life in males the system is made up of several organs that work together to produce and transport sperms the male reproductive cells to the ovum the female reproductive system let's look at each part of the male reproductive system and understand what it does the first we will talk about is the scrotum this is a loose pouch of skin that hangs outside the body basically the scrotum keeps the testes in a safe and secure position and it protects the testes and acts as a thermostat where it keeps a constant temperature the temperature maintained by the scrotum is slightly lower than the body temperature and this is crucial for the development of sperms next is the testes the most important part of the human reproductive system the testes creates sperms and also produces the hormone testosterone so basically the human body the male reproductive body and the reproductive system gets formed due to the formation and function of the testes so the sperms gets created in the testes and gets stored in a structure called the epididymis this is a coil tube located on the back of each testis the epididymis stores sperm and allows them to mature think of it as a training ground for sperms before they are ready to move on coming to the next point is the vas deferens the vas deferens is a long tube that carries mature sperm from the epididymis to the urethra during ejaculation it's like a highway for the sperms next up is the path through which the sperms reach and it's called the ejaculatory duct through on the path to the ejaculatory duct we have the urinary bladder which is part of the excretory system and stores urine we'll mainly focus on the ejaculatory duct so here the sperms cross from the vas deferens and reaches the urethra so it's a small pathway through which the sperms crosses the vas deferens and enters the urethra next up is the urethra it's like a common tube that runs through the penis it carries both urine and semen but never at the same time during ejaculation it carries only semen out of the penis next up is the penis and the pleasury system of the human body it is the external organ that delivers semen into the female reproductive tract during sexual intercourse it also helps in passing urine out of the body so let's quickly review the key parts first up was the testis which is used for sperm production the testis are located in a pouch a muscular bag called the scrotum which maintains the temperature and provides a safe safe environment for the development of the sperms after the sperms are produced they enter the epididymis where they mature and stored the vas deferens transport the mature sperms there are some certain glands called the seminal vesicles prostate gland and bulbar urethral glands which we'll talk in our next video in details so these glands basically help in lubrication and perfect and creates a perfect environment for the sperms next up is the ejaculatory duct so the ejaculatory duct forms a small passage from the vas deferens to the urethra urethra is a common passage for semen and urine 
and lastly is the penis which is used for ejaculation of the sperms into the female body. They all together work to produce, mature, store and deliver sperms. So this wraps up the video and I'll thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more science content and drop a comment if you have any questions. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning. Thank you.